Hey guys, I, I wanted to do a quick section on this script and why I put it together. So this is the text to speech alerts and chatbot script. It is a Streamlabs chatbot script that provides text to speech functionality for Streamlabs alerts, chat messages, and a customizable command. Now, the reason that I made this script is that this script uses your computer's narrator voice. And hopefully that makes it so this script is more stable because it doesn't have to use some sort of outside website or ex external dependency to provide that text-to-speech functionality. Th this does mean that it's a little less customizable because there's only a handful of voices. You can change the volume and the speech rate uh, and, and that's it. However, it does use your computer's narrator voice. So if you have your computer set up with, with various languages, you should be able to select the right language for you. Feel free to reach out to me in the Streamlabs chatbot Discord if you have any questions. I also have a link to my Twitter here if you um, have any other concerns or, or feedback to give. Big thanks to OC for his Streamlabs event receiver module, which allows us to capture the alerts inside of the Streamlabs chatbot. But here, let's, ju let's jump on into it. Let's, let's jump over to the chatbot where you guys can see the text-to-speech in action. One quick thing to note before you guys start is you're going to have to follow this usage section in order to set up the script to grab your Streamlabs alerts. So if you want to have the, your text to speech for, for your Streamlabs alerts, you need to follow this section. If you don't want your text to speech to work for, for the alerts, then just ignore this. Yo, what's going on guys? I jumped into the chat bot to give you guys a demo of what the text to speech script looks like or sounds like inside of the Streamlabs chat bot. So here's my chatbot. I'm going to go over to the scripts tab in the bottom left here. And then you can see that I have the, the text to speech alerts and chat script loaded. If I click on this, this settings sidebar appears where I can see all of the settings for this text to speech. Now, right now, uh, let's see TTS chat messages. I have it set up to read every single message out loud. Let's make sure that's saved. Let's come back over here. And let's type hi there cruiser 8 says hi there all right cool it's it it's reading the message and i can spam cruiser this as much says, as i want hi there cruiser 8 says hi there cruiser 8 says hi there and they each get read um one after another okay that's cool but let's say i just want to have a command so let's uncheck this let's turn off the text-to-speech for all chat messages and let's just focus on the command so if I come up here to the command, uh, exclamation point TTS, only the caster can use it. It's got a cost of 500 points and the text to speech message format. So let me try uh, doing text to speech. Hi there. So I'm, I'm going to type out. Cruiser 8 says, hi there. I'm going to type out the command as well before I type the message. And we can make this as crazy as we wanted to hi there cruiser 8 says <laughs> okay so your people your, your viewers are gonna have a lot of fun with that sheesh okay um we can change the voice to zira and save it um these are the two voices that come with my windows pc cruiser 8 says Jeez, that's crazy. All right. Uh, but then the other thing that I have is I have my stream labels open right now. And I've also selected my Twitch follows. So I'm going to trigger one of the follow alerts that I got a couple of days ago. Turn based Dave has followed. Turn based Dave has followed. Okay. So that's because I have it set so that the alert is read as name has followed. Um, I, I could change this to be whatever I wanted, you know, name, follow the channel, save the settings and trigger the alert again. Based Dave followed the channel. So you can set this to be whatever you want. And if you hover over the message, you'll see, uh, all the variables th that you're able to include in this message uh, for the follow alert. It's just the name, but, but for something like the subscribers, there's more options. There's a tier. There's the amount of months if you're resubscribing, and there's also the gifter if you're doing a, a gift sub message. So, uh, spe speaking of Twitch subs, this is also 
turned on, so let's play a sub. Tim has resubscribed. Tier 1 for 27 months. Tree Babies. Alrighty then. So Tree Babies was the message that was uh, included with his sub message. If I didn't want that to play, I uncheck this. I hit save and I'm good to go. So hopefully this gives you some idea of what the text-to-speech chatbot script is capable of. If you guys have any questions, you can reach out to me in the Streamlabs chatbot Discord. You can also come down to this author section of the settings where you can go to the GitHub or the or or my Twitter. If you guys want to reach out to me there, there is a readme file that has some additional information about the settings that are here. Uh, but the main one that you guys are going to want to use is the Streamlabs token. And if you open up this Streamlabs token settings, you'll see a text field that you can put your Streamlabs socket API token into. And this is what allows you or your chatbot to read the text to speech on alerts.